In my last video I turned a natural ed and mimosa bowl and my final finish was with a sanding paste that I made. I had some questions on how much of each item I put in and how thick did it turn out and different questions like that. So I decided I'm going to make a very simple video on how to do it. And it is a very simple process, very easy to do. But the ingredients I used was diametaceous earth, beeswax, and mineral oil. And the, the proportions that I use, it's by weight. You want to make sure you do it by weight, not volume. So you need a nice little scale that will measure in ounces accurately. And it's very easy to do, so let's go on in the house and make it. So I'm going to make a quick little video here on how to make a sanding paste using mineral oil, beeswax, and I'm using diametaceous earth. I'm going to use a mixture of four parts of mineral oil and one part of beeswax and one part of the diametaceous earth. These measurements will be by weight. So you would use four ounces of mineral oil, one ounce of beeswax, and one ounce of diametaceous earth. So I have my water preheated and I have this little metal pan that will sit in here and not touch the bottom and it acts as a double boiler. I'm going to put the mineral oil in here and then I'll put the beeswax in and it'll slowly start to melt in there. So you can see here it, it's actually almost melted and it's just been a few minutes. So the beeswax is now thoroughly melted. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour the mineral oil and beeswax into this little container and it, it's still very thin. Then I'll take and slowly stir in the diametaceous earth. Alright, most of it is stirred into the mix and it's still very liquid. So I have my pan back here, but I have some ice water in it. Now if you want to put it in ice water, it will speed up the process of having this get back to a more solid state. Continue to stir until it thickens. Otherwise the heavier ingredients will separate. I'll clean this off here and I'm going to take it out and try it on a uh, project that I have prepared to show how this works. So I'm applying some of the sanding paste that I just made on this piece of walnut. I have multiple coats of lacquer sprayed on here, sanded in between each coat, and I steel wooled the whole piece. So it's all treated the same. The only difference is going to be is I'm going to use the sanding paste on this side and not on that side. So I'm going to rub this in with this paper towel slowed it down about 440 RPMs some of this may go across the line but we'll be able to tell I got quite a bit on there for this size but I don't think it can hurt it I'm seeing, I'm seeing some shiny stuff going on right here. So I'm going to go to a drier portion of the towel. I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to go to a dry portion. 
that just that just popped out of there when I got it dried. I'm going to stop this. I know I can see it from here. This looks like a shell over the top of that piece. Exact same treatment from one end to the other except for this sanding paste. So I like that a lot. That lacquer looks like a shell laying over the top of that wood.